Hey there builders, Dejawe here with another video in my Blocks World Decoded series. This one I am super excited to be bringing to you guys because it is something that I've been trying out for a while and I just figured it out. Um, got the inspiration from a world called Attack the Rebel Base and I don't know who did it because the Blockster is unnamed. So whoever you are, you did a fantastic job and uh, thanks for giving me the inspiration to try to figure this out. Um, in any case, I've got my little guy here, and he's not doing a whole heck of a lot yet. Uh, but when you push the L button, the lightsaber pops out, right? And he can swing it, and it's a little laggy on the laser part, you can tell, um, but it works really, really well. So let me go ahead and get into how to do this, because um, I've, I've coded it so that it can get put away. Um, there could be, I might think about a world where... Um, when it's out, it attracts attention, um, but if you put it away, you don't really attract any attention like the Jedi's um, or the Sith. So in any case, I have uh, my little guy here, and he's not doing, he doesn't have a whole lot in him because I had this sort of set up. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and make him move and jump. Oh, he's got the jump already. Cool. Cool. So what you're going to want to do, um, the way that I built it, and you could probably use other props as well, uh, but this seems to be the most popular, uh, is the soda cans. Uh, and the reason why the soda cans are so amazing, uh, because your Blockster can hold them. They're off to the side in the build block, which means that your Blockster can hold them. And I'm sure they meant for it to be so that they're holding soda, uh, but this the unnamed Blockster that built Attack the Rebel Base... Uh, gave me a good idea and you can easily just switch them around. Um, this one has to be this way first and make them whatever colors you want. I just did uh, black and then I did a what I call Vanta black on the back with no texture which hides the um, the cam top really really well. And so you just copy that, flip that around so that they're meeting up now on mine, I did put just this little texture on the back, just so it looked like a handle and then the lightsaber portion. Uh, pretty simple. And then when you, oops, try to grab all of them there. When you put it here, um, you can see that he grabs it, right? He jumps with it, he grabs it. Now the next part is the laser. And for this, you're really only gonna need two things. You're gonna need a green trigger block or a glue block. Um, some of you know that I like to call them trigger blocks sometimes and glue blocks others. Uh, anyway, make sure you take the freeze out of it. Um, extend it by, you know, however much you want, but it's got to cover the laser. So in the action blocks, what you're going to want to do if you don't have it, uh, I am sorry, but you're going to need to grab one of these little bad boys. Um, you're going to want to put it inside the action block and actually i'm going to move it forward no i'm not just kidding i'm actually going to extend this out uh, but what you are going to want to do is make sure because if you look at the orientation it's on the side as well just make sure it's matching up twist it so that it's matching up exactly to the cans uh, that way there's no problems also on this portion make sure that the trigger block is um, not actually touching the Blockster, but is on that first can, because otherwise, uh, well, I'll show you what it does. It basically just freezes your guy. He can't really do anything. Um, well, it didn't do it that time, but in my previous trials, uh, it was doing that quite a bit. So, and you can tell it messed the laser up anyway, so, um... That is basically how to build it. Uh, give me a second here for a short video break and I will show you how to how to code it. Okay, so now we've got our lightsaber and this is basically how it, it just is. It's just gonna work this way. Um, instead of the pulse though, you're gonna want the beam. So under actions, go to the beam and actually put it back together so that it doesn't do anything weird. Um, so this is basically going to be your lightsaber. And there's a couple of things we need to do first. 
So I move the action block out of the way. Um, what I do is on play, I'll hide it. Okay. Um, and then with the L button, doo -doo 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 -doo, which is up the top, L button makes it appear. Okay, and what, what that essentially does, well, we'll do it this way. L button plus hide makes it appear. And then this is basically just how you're going to turn it on and off. Okay, so L button appear. When it's appeared, it will hide when you push the button. So you'll see here, um, well, I haven't actually put it in there. Actually, nope. It would help if I got my steps together before these videos, but I was really excited to get this one out. So you can see that on play it hides, um, and then when you push that, it comes back. So a couple of things we need to do to this, right? If you have them, amazing. If not, I suggest getting the invisible texture. Um, it makes things a lot easier when you're trying to hide stuff. The other thing that you wanna make sure you do is in actions, you wanna make it phantom. And the reason for making it phantom is so that if it hits something, it's not gonna mess you up, right? It's just gonna pass right through it. So you could go up to a wall or another blockster, it's not gonna stop you. So I'm gonna show you here, and usually on play, you'll wanna have it look at something else. So if you were to, if this was gonna be an actual world, you could have the camera over here. So you really don't see the magic behind it, right? See, on, off, on, off. And you don't see it. It's got that cool buzzing noise. Now what I did to make the cans disappear, it was simple. Move this out of the way again. So you essentially do all the same thing, which is on play, hide, because you want it to match up to the laser, right? Um, L button plus hide. Does appear. And then L button plus appear, once I can get this to actually do what I want it to. L button plus appear does hide. Now, the other thing that you have to do when you do it this way is that you have to, have to, have to um, put a weight in um, for the cans to hide. And the reason being is the laser is going to take an extra, you know, quarter of a second to hide. And so your laser is going to shoot off behind you. So um, once I figure out what I'm doing here, um, oh, let's just do it this way. Copy, paste. Now everything should hide. And you see what I'm saying about the laser shooting off? Oh, and I've got to move this back again. So the laser shoots off. So I've got to have it wait a little bit longer. Um, oh, it works fine after you play. So that is the lightsaber. Um, pretty much in a short time frame. And then um, the other thing that I will show you before I end the video totally is how to code your Blockster so that uh, everything, everything sort of works in conjunction. It all works really smoothly. Okay, so we are going to now, um, we're going to build the Blockster code so that the R button only shows up when, um, or the attack button only shows up when the lightsaber is out. So right now, um, it's not showing up at all because I've got a signal already pre-programmed in there. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, so in your Blockster, you see I've, I've done this before and that's what I had on the guy that started the video. So your signal comes from when one of your one or both or your can whatever when it appears so when this appears we're going to send out that code or that signal swing and that's going to send out so the whole time that that can is has is appearing it's going to send out that signal swing and 
I'm just changing the button here because, well, I can. Um, and then when the, your Blockster gets that signal, because it is the first one here, because it's in front of the R button, um, it's not going to, it's not going to show the R button until swing is activated. And I'll show you how that, how that kind of works. So walking around, I want to pull out my lightsaber. Um, and now you see on the right hand side, you see the little POW, the POW button pop up, which is what makes him swing. And when you put your lightsaber away, you can't attack. All right. And that's, that's amazing. The way that, that all of this can be built on is just absolutely fantastic. I do apologize for my not so Star Wars-y guy. I tried, uh, but failed pretty miserably. Uh, in any case, that is how you do the lightsaber and the coating for the lightsaber. Um, play with it. You know, you can do diff you can do any color you want that is in the palette. Obviously, all you have to do is the red that is on the laser. You just have to make that whatever color you want. So if you wanted it green, if you wanted it um, light blue, you could do, uh-oh, there you go. You could do anything, any color, any Jedi you wanted, any, any Sith you wanted, which is mostly gonna be red. Um, I haven't quite figured out the Kylo Ren one yet. Um, I will try to do that to make it playable, but I don't know how well that's going to work out. Okay, so I am breaking into my own video here, and the reason for that is I wanted to go over a couple of things that uh, make this a little bit smoother. So the way I have it all set up is when he swings it, you're going to start hearing him say, ouch because the laser's hitting him. And let's be honest, getting hit by a laser hurts. In, you know, especially when it's a lightsaber. Um, and I know that lightsabers are plasma, they're not lasers, but anyway, uh, all that aside, what you can do is in your actions for your blockster, for your hero, as it were, speaking of which, this is a different blockster that I'm using, so I haven't tagged him. Um, what you do is, in the actions, I took it out here, in the actions, you can do mute, right? And it just has to be him, it doesn't have to be everything attached to him. So now, when you swing it, he doesn't say anything. The other thing that you can do is, only when swing is activated, it'll mute so you can have him say stuff uh, not say stuff, but you can have it make noises when other things happen. So when this is active, he mutes. So swing is active from previously and he mutes. But when you put it away and he gets hit with something or something else happens, he can make sound effects. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to do was show you how the enemies work. Uh, basically, this is a little bit more complicated than it normally has to be because I have a block integer with his health. Um, which is this here, and his health is at five. Um, when the health is equal zero, he smashes. But this is the the bottom line is the most important. So when he gets hit with a laser, and he's this color, which is what he starts out as up here, it's going to subtract a health. It's going to turn him a different color that way. And it's just for a brief second, and usually I would do a color that's really similar, but I wanted to illustrate it for the video, so normally I would do something like that, right, um, instead. But I wanted to illustrate it and show you how it, how it actually kind of works behind the scenes. Um, so when we play this, shouldn't be any issue to... Now you can just, you know, you can hit him like this, you can swing, um, the other thing that you can do with that is only have the lightsaber really active when he swings so that there's no, um, so there's no weirdness. Like you can't just run into stuff and hit it with a lightsaber. Although that's kind of how lightsabers work. Um, it's not as fancy. It's not as cool, um, but it works. 
and that's really it. Uh, I will be making a video on how to make enemies and how to make them a little bit better. Um, you can make it so that he turns to you when he's a certain distance away. Um, and that's one reason for the tag. So when he gets close enough, he's going to turn to you, um, basically kind of checking you out, trying to figure out what if you're a problem. So there's, there's the enemy for the lightsaber. It just has to be a laser hit, make it a little bit more specific. Um, you can have him move around and stuff too. But again, I'll go over that in my making enemies video. Thank you so much for letting me interrupt my own video. Uh, in any case, I am Dajawe. Please like, subscribe, and bell this channel so that you can get all my videos as soon as they come out. And also go into Blocks World and follow me again, Dajawe, D-A-J-A-W-E. Check out all my games and worlds. Some of them are pretty cool, even to other people. Thank you, and as always, like it if you like it. Dajawe out.